hey there people. Well today I was going to go for a trike ride. Um, we got a ton of snow the other day. Anyway I go to grab my trike. I took it out of the tarp and whatever. Like I keep it outside. Took it off from under the tarp. Uh, I went to move it. The rear end was frozen. Um, last time I went out I went through a couple of creeks and water got into my rear end. So um, I brought it into my shed. Anyway I got my heat cranked up. My wood stove's kicking butt. We're sitting at a bombing, what is that, 33 or whatever Celsius. She's hot in here. Well, before I even tried to move it, um, I put extra tarps and I made a, like a little shed. It already has a little shed where I park it, but I just wanted to make it extra. I threw this heater. Uh, shout out to Kiefer. He gifted me this heater. So I just had it pointed at the diff like that. It took about maybe a half hour, I guess. And it started to move so it can't be there can't be that much water in it anyway I'm not going to show you the process of uh, draining the oil and this and that you guys already seen that yeah I had to make make some room in here just a little bit that's okay I just want I got too much room now my dogs are pretty angry with me I made one seat for one dog but it's not fair right so that might be a good thing because it was like minus 22 Celsius out today a little cold, a little cold for me anyway. Tomorrow's gonna be plus or minus one Celsius. So we'll go tomorrow. Well, you guys seen me change the diff oil a few times, so I'm not gonna videotape that. But what I will videotape is, I put together a survival kit. Um, going through the ice last winter, I kind of learned. So I packed up this bag last night real fast. I'm sure I can get more stuff in it, like. Anyway, let's go through it. And, uh, if you guys have any pointers for me, uh, let me know. Cheers. Like I said, um, after falling through the ice last year, I learned my lesson, I think. It's been a long time coming. Anyway, let's go through uh, my survival pack here. Uh, let's hit these. Like This isn't final. This is just what I was gonna bring today if I would've went. Uh, we've got some tools. We got the old trusty 10 mil, a multi-tool, the front pocket. Most important thing to me are these hot packs. They saved my life a few times, that's for sure. On that note, extra pair of mitts. With my hand problems, I need those. Um, I've got this tarp and a tow rope. That'll go in the trunk of my trike. My good old trusty tire inflator. A spare pair of socks. Got some ass wipe. Uh, you can use it as fire starter or wiping your bum. I got a pure protein bar. That'll keep you going for a couple days for sure. Not that I'll ever need that. Well, I've got my truck pal jump starter. I've uh, got the booster cables that go with it. Um, I can charge my phone, my cameras. It's got a flashlight. Uh, probably start a fire with it. What else do we have? Bear spray. Need some bear spray. You never know. We've got some critters over there. Uh, got a bunch of zip ties. Couple of garbage bags in case my feet get wet. Like as far as getting wet, like I'm not going on the creek right now. Um, in the winter, I'm going to bring like a, a spare pair of pants, a shirt, and uh, and more. I guess I don't know. Uh, lighter, charging cables for my GoPro and my phone. What else do we got here? Oh, I got some BBs for my BB. Extra cartridge of air. Never know when you're gonna need a BB. Friggin' YouTube, eh? You can't even say the G word anymore. What else do we have? Well, that's about it. That's it. What am I missing? I'm missing something. Hey, uh, if you guys see anything that I should have, like totally, but I don't have, uh, let me know. Anyway, uh, we're at 2 o'clock in the morning right now. 
I'm going to go for a ride uh, noonish tomorrow. Uh, we'll see you then. Well, I guess you were seeing me before then. I almost forgot one of the most important things. Flashlight. I can charge this with my jump starter too. Rear end fluid is pretty much drained. There was lots of water in there for sure. I gave it a good squirt with this, filled it right up again, ran it through. What I'd like to do is get a like an air thing and push it right through so it comes out the drain hole. Get all the debris out of there. One day. My tore open a tarp. Fits perfectly in my trunk. I figured while I'm at it I might as well give it a trickle charge. The old motor master. That thing's been left out in the rain, snow, and still kicking butt. Well, this tire was pretty much flat, so I might as well put my truck power to use while I'm in the heat here, eh? I only keep about two and a half pounds of air in there. Want some traction. Took about 10 minutes to charge this battery, like... See, that's kind of a good thing that I have to start it like I do, like the battery's never charged. So nothing's sucking the juice. I swear that LED light I have is sucking the juice. I want to go back to factory, but wow. People are crazy about these prices. Just selling everything for a million dollars. Well, it's a couple days later. Um, I wanted to go trekking the other day, but I just wasn't feeling too well. But we're feeling okay today, but uh, we're not going to go to the bush bush. We're just going to keep it local. Uh, we'll go down by the ponds. Oh, somebody's out there. Sounds like a snow machine. All right, let's go. So I've been working on this video for two days now. I'm getting fed up. Um, broke my glasses, everything's gone wrong. So my computer, well, she went and died on me. Blue screen. Now it's stuck at the uh, Windows startup screen. Uh, that happened before, but I was able to get it going. But this time, no go. It's been six days, seven days, eight days, I don't know anymore. Now I'm dealing with this piece of garbage. It's so slow, like... I would have choked somebody, I swear. So I'm at this point. I had more footage of going to the ponds, but uh, it, it disappeared. Poof. So my romp was just a street romp, I guess. Anyway, um, I gotta get my main computer fixed and we'll carry on with life. After that long ride, I sure worked up an appetite. Anyway, I'm gonna do a little barbecue. I'm gonna barbecue some chicken wings. Well, a few weeks ago, I was sent a gift from a viewer, uh, Rumi slash Steve. He sent me a new uh, chimney, charcoal chimney, and a brush, a wire brush. Look how round it is compared to my old one. It's a lot wider. Anyway, we're going to give it a try right now. I haven't used my barbecue since the snow, obviously, so I'm going to have to clean that up. What you want to do is fill the bottom with paper. I usually use newspaper, that works awesome. And, and then you want to fill it with charcoal. That should be good. So the coal should be ready in 20 minutes. Let's go prep the wings. Well, I'm doing up two different types of wings. Um, I've got honey garlic here and for this batch here, I'm going to do my secret uh, barbecue sauce. This chimney is a little different than my old one. It's getting a lot more air, so that means the charcoal will be ready a lot faster. 
the speed chimney. It's pro it probably hasn't been 10 minutes since I lit it. I'm awesome. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now to add some sauce. Barbecue. Sweet and sour. So I'm not going to win best video of the year, that's for sure. Anyway, some more missing footage, why not? Um, so I grabbed my chicken wings and I put them in my juice and I put them back in the barbecue and I took pictures and videos and stuff, then I took it out and I showed, but no, no, that didn't show up. I can almost title this video uh, Frustrated in Thorsby or Frustrated in my house, Frustrated in lockdown, Frustrated with no computer. Anyway, people. Big, big cheers. Holy frustrating. Anyway, the video is not uh, live yet. I still have to see if this thing will be able to make it live. Anyway, if it does get live, um, I appreciate you guys watching. Big, big cheers. And we'll talk to you guys later.